Let's talk about slap base technique, my personal favorite subject. So with slap base technique, uh, what I usually do with my students is have them first drop their hands to their side. Very simple. Take your right hand, bring it up and over. Okay, looking for a very natural position, very easy. And for this mo motion here, I usually say, basically talking about opening a doorknob, it's this kind of a thing. Just simple turning, doesn't have to be very dramatic. And we're going to be striking the base here between the first and second fret on the fretboard. Um, very simple, nice, even, simple technique. And uh, an exercise I like to start with is using, in the key of E, the open E string, which is your fourth string here, using a metronome set to quarter notes. Not too fast, and what we want to do is focus on playing quarter notes very evenly with the metronome. Okay? So it'll start like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, nothing fancy, but very easy and trying to keep the notes even. It's very important to play in time and because down the road when you're playing with the drummer, you need to be able to lock with him. So those kinds of exercises will make that much simpler and easier to do. Now we're going to take the same exercise. And we're going to do quarter notes, which is one, two, three, four, and combine them with eighth notes. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Again, we're going to be on the E string with the metronome. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, eighth notes. Okay, again, real even, real easy, but important to practice that, and not only in the key of V, e, but also try different keys, maybe in G, maybe in A, C, any key on the bass. That's one of the great things about our instrument, is that we can move it around and, and transpose into different keys, and it's no problem, okay? So now I'm going to give you a basic funk exercise, again, in the key of E, and we're going to use our metronome once again. And with this exercise, we're hitting the E, open E string, which is number four string here. So we're Okay. And what we're playing here on the top is we're playing D on the G string, which is the number one string, to the octave of the low E. So we have low E here, okay? And we have the high E here. So. Okay, real standard funk exercise. Again, use it with the metronome, practicing getting even notes, and try in different keys, challenge yourself. Um, try it slow and try it fast at different tempos with the metronome. So it's important to get comfortable playing in all tempos and in all keys eventually. All right? Okay, now that we've covered the key of E, Let's talk about the key of G. I'm going to give you a similar exercise that we just did, but I'm going to tie it all together later and I'll show you how. So let's start with the metronome. And we're going to do quarter notes and eighth notes in key of G. One, two, three, four.
Okay? Now what we're going to do is that same exercise, but we're going to use g with the octave g. Okay? So it'll be this, two bars of quarter notes, and then eighth notes. Okay? Now let's try that with the metronome. One, two, three, four. Eight notes. Okay? And now, like we did in the key of E, I'm going to give you um, kind of a funk groove in the key of G. Okay? So we'll start here with G and go chromatically back up to G. Okay? So we're playing eighth notes. That's the rhythm. We're doing root and the octave. Okay, so let's take that again with the metronome. Nice even notes, that's what we're trying to shoot for. One, two, three, and four, and... Okay, now that we have that, let's go from G to C. Same basic exercise going up chromatically, so... C, okay? C, and you're landing on C, which is on the third string, on the third fret, okay? Again with the metronome. One and two and three and four and. All right. So practice that again, slow and fast, different tempos, try different keys, and keep working on that and get it nice and even. All right. Okay, now I'm going to do a playing sample for you, and it's going to kind of tie the E section that we did and the key of G together, and kind of show you how those can fit, and moving from one key to another, okay? So we're going to use the metronome again, and here we go. One, two, three, four. And there you go. Okay, now um, I'm going to do some playing for you and basically tying a lot of the techniques we've talked about together and also uh, just kind of showing you where you can go with those if you keep working. All right, here we go. <laughs> 